You know, this is incredible, Tom. I've been looking forward to this. For those that have followed Ring of Honor and Impact, we know how much Chris Saban has meant to both organizations. But for folks at home that may have not been following Ring of Honor in 2018, Chris Saban's actually due a title shot for taking Jay Lethal, the man Jonathan Gresham beat for the championship, to a draw. He earned that title shot back in 2018. This is a match three years in the making. And let's understand the stakes of this evening, because let's say Chris Saban wins the Ring of Honor World oh. title. I, I can feel your heart palpitating just sitting next to you. I mean, if an Impact wrestler were to win the Ring of Honor World title and the first time ever it was defended in an Impact ring, tough times for Ring of Honor fans. Well, here's what I know right now, Tom. I know that Chris Saban will assume the scheduled title defenses of Jonathan Gresham should he walk out of the building here in Dallas here tonight as the Ring of Honor World Champion. But it's going to take a lot to pry that championship out of one of the hottest wrestlers in wrestling. He's 2-0 in title defenses. He's won eight in a row against stars like Brody King, Dragon Lee, Jay Lethal, who he defeated for the championship. He's the longest reigning pure champion in the history of Ring of Honor, one half of the longest reigning tag team champions. And he's 14-1 in pure rules matches. And that's an uphill battle to climb for any individual. And there you see the historic Ring of Honor World Champion. So how lopsided is this considering it's pure rules for this match? Well, that's a great question because he has won out of those 14 victories. He's won in 12 different ways, D'Lo. And you know as anybody how tough that is to game plan for anybody who can beat you in that many ways. When you can come at an opponent from multiple platforms and use different techniques and to secure victories, that makes you a dangerous individual. That makes you a tough challenge. And Jonathan Gresham, he is not going to relinquish his title. It's his first title match. He's going to work his ass off to defend it. Jonathan Gresham not only waving his own flag, but is carrying the flag for Ring of Honor tonight here at Hard to Kill. Introducing first to my left, the challenger, wrestling out of Detroit, Michigan, weighing 202 pounds, Chris Steven! His opponent to my right, is wrestling out of Atlanta, Georgia, weighing 205 pounds. He is representing the foundation, and he is the Ring of Honor World Champion, the Octopus, Jonathan Gresham. And these two men are linked. They were in a group in Ring of Honor called Search and Destroy. Chris Saban and Alex Shelley, the Motor City Machine Guns, mm. took both Jay White and Jonathan Gresham under their wing. Jay White went on to main event Madison Square Garden with the IWGP Heavyweight Championship. Jonathan Gresham becoming the Ring of Honor World Champion. I'd say that investment in mentorship has paid off. This time in wrestling is astounding. We saw the news earlier on about Mickey James, her opportunity in the Royal Rumble match. Now you have the Ring of Honor World Championship being defended for the first time ever in an Impact Wrestling ring. And there is the Code of Honor handshake as per pure rules to get this started. We're underway in Dallas. Here we go. It's going to be a heck of a bout. With Jonathan Gresham, one thing you're going to look for is he will try and beat you quick. He's beaten opponents with sunset flips. He's beaten them with La Maestral Cradles. He's beaten them with, quote unquote, simple moves like a bayonet elbow. You got to watch that if you're Chris Saban to the back of the head. One thing that's been great to see, D'Lo, about Chris Saban is his resurgence as of late. You and I have talked about his uh, recent rivalry with Ace Austin. It's given him some new life. Well, it's given him new life. You know, he's competed for the Exhibition Championship, and now he's going to compete for the Ring of Honor World's title. You know, Chris Saban is a guy who, once you let everyone know, he can still go. <laughs> Gresham able to take Saban off his feet. Yeah, the one thing I love about Gresham is the fact that he's not just going to come at you as a striker. He's not going to come at you as a grappler. He's going to bring all the disciplines. He can beat you in multiple ways. Gresham here looking to carry the flag. And I, on behalf of Ring of Honor, I do want to thank Impact Wrestling for allowing the torch to stay lit in April. We, we plan to resume operations. You see, trending hard to kill. I know this match had a lot of people talking, and it will have a lot more people talking if Chris Saban joins the exclusive club. Wow. Oh, look at that. Great now, sequence. Yeah, with, look at the stare off right now. Both men showing they're even at this point. Saban could join the the exclusive club of Eddie Edwards, Austin Aries, and Samoa Joe as the individuals that have captured both the Impact Championship and the Ring of Honor World Championship. That's it's pretty rare air. 
you know, Chris Sabin has been Mr. Everything. He's won every championship in Impact Wrestling, so it would be fitting for him to bring the Ring of Honor World title home. How does Sabin keep up with Gresham? Because Gresham does a great job of keeping his competitors guessing. I think for Saban, I, Saban has taught Jonathan Gresham a lot of what Jonathan Gresham knows, but Jonathan Gresham has played the long game throughout his career. He took the long path to Ring of Honor, took the long path to Impact. He's a man who traveled to 13 different countries by the time he was 30 years of travel. Cover here and a kick out by the champion. That close, says Saban. I think a lot of Chris Saban's DNA is in the wrestling psyche of Jonathan Gresham. I think that's what he has to take advantage of. I, I think he sees a student in Jonathan Gresham, for better or worse. And if he can tap into that DNA, I th oh, oh, that is very dangerous this early in a match for Saban. And right now you can, Gresham. See, you can see Gresham who, who's using the game plan. He's attacking different points to keep Saban off balance and not letting Saban know exactly where he's going to be attacked. And uh, to your point, Russian might have been a student at one point, but now he's become a leader, not just for Ring of Honor, but his own promotion. That's right. He, he's carrying the banner of pure wrestling and, and trying to keep the legacy of Ring of Honor alive with Terminus, which he will... Oh, oh, oh wow, the ankle's not supposed to bend like that. Oh, God. Saban's going to have to endure. Oh, and that's a trap. Hold on, into a cover, into a Two. cover. Saban able to kick out, but the ankle felt the damage, and look at how quickly Gresham is back on top of his opponent. And I say this, if you've not seen Jonathan Gresham wrestle, which you have to be living under the rock for the last few years, this man is one of the best. You say 1,000 holds, I say 2,000 holds. This man can, he can attack you. Look at joint manipulation right here. Oh, cover, cover. Saban has to bridge out. And then think about this, he's not even started throwing strikes yet. Now into the cover, shoulders down, and a kick out. I love the way Gresham gets back to his feet right away, continuing to look for the arm into the head scissor there. And even just a window of opportunity, and it's gone for Saban. You've got to react in milliseconds yes. against Gresham. Absolutely, and Gresham is one thing, he always maintains wrist control. Oh, oh, big kick by Saban. Saban needed that. Yeah, Saban needs that, A, for he needs a breather, and B, needed to switch the momentum of this match. Able to slow the match down for the first time. That's where Gresham really excels. That's where he caught Jay Lethal off guard to win the Ring of Honor World Championship. When he turned the pace up, looking for the quick pins and the quick submissions, did the same thing to Dragon Lee. Count of six. Remember, it's a 20 count here on the on the floor with pure wrestling rules. And under pure rules, the championship can change hands on count out and disqualification. An interesting wrinkle. Now Saban dives into the ring. Gresham went back to the arm. Nice waist lock here. It keeps going back to that arm, D'Lo. Why is that so important with Saban right now that Gresham keeps focusing on that left arm? Continuing to work on that arm will, will reduce the grip hand strength of Chris Saban, not allowing him maybe to hook the cradle shot. Oh. <laughs> so it's, he's, it, you know, Gresham is playing the long game. You can see this. Big forearm shot, remember, closed fists, not legal. Yeah, see, right there. Your rules. Saban could not whip off Gresham. Oh, and a great job there oh, by Gresham. Oh. Saban had an answer, however. Now Gresham into a cover. Bridge out by Saban. Trying to keep pace with the octopus. Oh! Face first. What a DDT by Saban to win the Ring of Honor World title and a kick out. What an exchange right there. That's from two wrestlers who know each other extremely well. We got to take another look at this DDT. Dilo, watch this. Look at this up oh. and then rotates Grisham into position, spiking down his head, and came within a heartbeat, a heartbeat of becoming the Ring of Honor World's Champion. So, so close. And now Saban back up to his feet. Imagine, Ian, the pressure on Grisham. All the things we mentioned before, how he is trying to stand up on behalf of an entire company tonight. It's incredible. I can't imagine what's going through his heart and his mind oh. right now, but it, I, I can see the strategy here. Grabbing that wrist, looking for the double wrist lock. Great job. Back to the injured arm of Saban. Don't forget about the ankle. Oh. And see right there, a simple <laughs> shoulder tackle is hurting Saban's arm because Gresham is working on it for 5, 10, 15 oh. minutes in this match already. And that's the incredible thing about Gresham. Before you oh. know it, you're in trouble. You are in deep, deep trouble like Saban is now. Oh. Right to the midsection, and now Saban off the top rope. No! Oh! Spinning neck breaker, great job. Now here's the cover, hook to the leg, and a foot on the bottom rope. That is one gone. One rope break gone for that Gresham. Rope break number one used by Jonathan Gresham. 
Uh, Gresham throughout the pure tournament and through his pure matches, so good at knowing where he is in the ring. He has a counter for everything. He also knows at all times where he is in the ring. He's not afraid to use the rope breaks when he needs to. And let's reiterate the rule. You get three rope breaks on pinball submission. After that, it does not matter oh. anymore. The left arm of Chris Saban has got to be in bad shape right now. Went for a kick there, and this is the compact strength now of Jonathan Gresham oh. and the attitude to boot. Open hand slap right there. Oh! He locked in a dragon screw leg whip. It is very hard to comprehend what part of Chris Saban doesn't hurt right now. Gresham is dissecting Saban at this point, the eight-time former X Division champion, former Impact World champion. Gresham has made this his match right now here in Dallas. But again for the arm, Saban able to avoid for a moment. And this is where Saban needs to create space and, and ratchet the game up. Off the middle, oh! off the moonsault. Oh, right back to the arm. And changing gears. Here's our strikes. He's won matches with this before, incapacitating his opponents with those strikes. Trying to wear out Saban. Here's the cover to retain. Here in Dallas, no. Look at that. Throw to the face lock here with the cross face. And now Saban's thinking about reaching out to the bottom rope and burning one of his rope breaks. Amazing how, how Grisham keeps body control the entire time. He's never far from his opponent. And Saban's got his vision back here. Gresham trying to change up the hold here, trying to get underneath the chin of Saban. Now just trying to pull Saban backwards, trying to move the hand back now. Yeah, trying to avoid allowing Saban to get this, this rope break oh. here. Oh, look at that. Almost teasing him, almost taunting him. He knows that if he exhausts all three, he's in no man's land. Trying to do everything he possibly can to keep Saban from the rope. Almost creating a guessing game. Oh, oh. but Saban does grab the rope. So that's one gone for Saban and one gone for Gresham. That is rope break number one used by Chris Saban. And I have to wonder, D'Lo, Tom, was that almost intentional? He had him going back and forth. Did he want him to burn it on purpose? And see, I was thinking that to myself. It almost looked like Gresham was pushing the hand towards the rope. And now right back into the center of the ring with the cross face. So Gresham is sticking with his offensive game plan. Oh, and Saban rolls oh, out on cover. Two. Cover. Oh. Only one shoulder was down there for Saban. Danger for Gresham. Oh. Stops on the foot. Look at that nice trap. And here we go. Octopus. He's got the octopus. He's locked in. Close to the center of the He's ring. He's locked in. Could this be it for Saban tonight? It's hard to kill. And that shoulder hanging on by Sinu, that ball and socket joint. You see it right there. Great shot by the great camera crew at Impact. And now Gresham doing everything he can. And now Saban has got to be thinking about going for a second rope break oh. in a matter of seconds. You know, and this is called the octopus because it's eight points of pressure on the body. It hurts everywhere. Oh. Now, hammer fist. Now, he might be able to knock out Saban here. Those are unprotected. And this is how he finished off Dragon Lee and in Sa Ring of Honor. Saban defenseless, but oh, somehow. Cradle shock, he's trying to hook cradle shock. Oh, he's going to trap his legs. If he gets his legs, can he go? Can he go? Got it! Cradle shock by Saban. Now Saban is reaching for Gresham. Here's the cover. Two. No, three, no, got wait it. a minute. What? No, no, no. And Saban. The has foot Saban. of Gresham. Yeah, Reverend Brown has his point. And, and, and Brian Hebner, thank goodness, has that seen his rope break number two. Rope break number, number two. Jonathan Gresham. Jonathan Gresham just dodged a bullet. <laughs> Brian Hebner doing the right thing. He was looking at the shoulders on the pinfall. Watch this one more time, this sequence. The and cradle shock, boom. And you see right there, Jonathan Gresham creating space, rolling towards the rope. Foot is under the rope. You can clearly see it. Saban could not see the foot get under the rope, so obviously couldn't do anything about it. The official was in the right position, but made the right call to yes. keep this match going. And this is now going to turn into who can deliver the strongest strikes, hit the target, the sharpest. Oh. For Saban, he's targeting the jaw right now, but Gresham has a bullseye. Just locked in on that elbow and shoulder. The left arm of Saban's got to be useless. It's falling limp right now. You can see these are straight forearms oh, to that arm. Oh, and a headbutt by Saban. A closed fist not permitted, but headbutts and forearms certainly are. Both men staggering now back to their feet. The Ring of Honor World Championship on the line. Saban for a second there looked like he was grabbing for a rope break. Instead goes back to the center to meet Gresham. Oh, knife edge chops exchange from both. And this is the heart and the gas tank of both men. Two of the most finely conditioned athletes in the world. Emptying it out here in Dallas. 
Oh, wow. And it seems like they're powering each other up. Gresham is hitting right on the collarbone, sending shockwaves down that injured left arm of Chris Saban. But what's happening right now is the more these shops go, the more the adrenaline surges in the body, <laughs> and you almost don't feel them, and you just want to keep intensifying your blow. Once and one more time, thinking about the cradle shock. No, crucifix! Oh, Gresham had the answer. La Maestra! I went for a cover. Gresham got out of it. Steps over La Maestra from Gresham. Stack! Clinch! Cover! Two! Gresham! No! Gresham pins! Stamina! Yeah! The winner of this match, and still, display of wrestling. What a display of pure wrestling. What we just witnessed right there, the Ring of Honor World Championship. Jonathan Gresham flying the flag, both literally and figuratively here in Impact Pro Wrestling, defending the Ring of Honor World Championship against a very game Chris Saban. There were moments where my heart skipped a beat. I knew the title would be in good hands with a man like Chris Saban, whose legacy spans both organizations. But, but still, yeah, <laughs> but still, I might have been rooting for Jonathan Gresham a little bit. And as all pure rules matches must end, the code of honor, more than a handshake, more than respect between Gresham and Saban. You can see the wounds of war here for Chris Saban. D'Lo, Tom, I want to thank you very much for having me in the booth here tonight. It's been my pleasure. On behalf of Ring of Honor, we want to thank you for helping.